So Dustin, we get questions all the time from customers asking how to choose glass for their shower. And I can see by all the options here how that can be a daunting task. For sure. So where does somebody start when they're remodeling their shower? So I think it's a simple, a simple answer to that. Do you want to show off the interior of the shower, the, the money that you spent on tile or marble or whatever that is, or do you want privacy? So those really are the places to start. You know, your regular glass has a really green edge. So when you go from a three eighths to a half inch unit, this gets a little bit bolder. And then the other option for that is a low iron. And essentially what they do is they take the impurities out and it gets you a cleaner edge, almost, almost to a blue. And then once you get to privacy, there's a whole bunch of different things. You have glasses that distort and then you have glasses that obscure, you know, like with a satin, this is an acid etch product. So, when you're against it, you can see, obviously, but it doesn't take very much to get away from it before that's that disappears. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have a ton of patterns. So anywhere from, um, from rain to some of these decorative units, um, this is one that does more of a distorting. It's called, it's called Flemish. Anything from a leaf pattern and even the seeded pattern here. I mean, really, the pattern options are endless. They are, and they change constantly. You know, some of the other things that, that customers do like, especially with rain, is this feels like a product that's easier to keep clean. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't squeegee a shower, which I'm not gonna do, this is an easier one. So this actually becomes a popular unit depending on, on the type of shower. So Dustin, it looks like, you know, a lot of what you've showed us already is kind of your typical glass color. It's fairly clear. But if somebody wanted to add a little bit of color to their bathroom, are there options for that as well? Absolutely, for sure, yeah. There's different types. Uh, there's, there's from a blue uh, to bronze. There's even gray and green. So you can can, you can pick a color in a bathroom that kind of goes with the different design of the bathroom itself. Mm -hmm. So there's some options out, for the, out there for the client and colors for sure. So I noticed this piece over here as well. So to throw even more options at consumers, it looks like you can actually print onto shower glass now as well? You can. So you've got a lot of different options out there on printing on glass. Mm -hmm. And then now we actually have a ceramic frit ink that prints high definition right onto glass. Uh, they flash it with a tempering furnace and it sets the ink and it's a permanent it's a permanent thing so anything you want that you can dream of that you can get in an hd photo can end up on a piece of glass very cool so this would be a great option if somebody wants something totally unique for their bathroom super custom all day every day